So good morning, everyone. Thank you all for being here. It's actually a pretty good turnout. Eh? We have a lot of staff, some alums, uh, certainly some family members, young and old. But thank you for being here. Guys to the team, uh, I think there's only a couple of you missing, but uh, thank you all for being here as well. So on behalf of uh, certainly the university, the athletic department, and our Stinger athletes, um, thank you all for being here and online as well uh, to kick off a new era of uh, Concordia men's basketball. So before introducing our new head coach, I would like to take a quick moment to thank uh, everyone that's been involved with the program over the numerous years um, and that have essentially taken basketball, you know, Stinger basketball to where it is now uh, and have dedicated huge portions of their lives uh, in doing so. Specifically, huge thank you again to John Doerr uh, and Ernie Rosa as well for, for their years of dedication over the last you know, 25 plus years. After a very complete, uh, and I'll stress the word, search process, uh, we're extremely proud to promote one of our own. Uh, his worth e ethic, his recruiting capabilities, uh, and his plans for the future of the program uh, leave no doubt about the potential that this program has on the national scale. So, without further ado, the new head coach of the Concordia basketball men's team, Mr. Rasko Popovich. Hello, everybody. Well, first and foremost, I want to thank Patrick Boava and Concordia University for this tremendous opportunity to be the next head coach of the Concordia Stingers men's basketball team. Uh, I would also like to thank my family for their continuous support throughout the years as I pursued my ultimate goal of becoming a CIS head coach. Uh, I'm honored to be the new leader of this program, and I'm looking forward to the new challenges ahead. Uh, I think my body work with the both women's and men's teams speaks for itself. Uh, I consider myself to be a very good recruiter. Uh, I know how to sell Concordia because I'm an alumnus. I've been here, I've played here. And uh, I think the last part is that my work ethic has always been in life, you gotta outwork everybody if you wanna have success. And that's what I plan doing here. Uh, as an alumni, I'm excited to build on the rich tradition that Coach Dorr has had this program for the past 26 years. And hopefully we can become again uh, one of the top programs in the country. Uh, I look forward to working with our strong alumni network as I believe it's going to be essential for our team's success. Uh, finally, for our student athletes, uh, they will be held to the highest standards in the classroom, on the basketball court, and anywhere else where they represent Concordia as university and our basketball team. But still, my main goal is to make sure that we provide them with a memorable experience that's going to outlast their university career. I want to thank you all for coming today. And I hope to see everybody, our staff, our fans, our alumni back in the gym and when the new season kicks off in September. Thank you. I'm out. So just a few questions just to kind of introduce yourself as the new head coach. First question, immediate plans as the head coach. Uh, immediate plans are for sure follow up on recruits. Uh, I think there's still players that are uncommitted. There's some very good players left out there, and I think we need to get out there as quick as possible. Uh, I plan on putting in a program for the summer because as a team, if we want to succeed, we need a 12 months program. And it, a lot of it is we have to put emphasis on individual workouts, and I think all our guys are ready and committed for that. And if you want to succeed, that's what you have to do. Run a 12 months program with a strong individual workout s sessions, and then that's how you get better as an individual and as a team. So as everyone knows, you are the head coach after a very long tenure from Coach Dorr. What does it mean to you to be named head coach now, especially after Coach Dorr? Well, it's, it's, it's always been my ultimate goal to be a CIS head coach, but I mean, it's like a dream through to do it at Concordia because that's where I always wanted to be a head coach. And uh, Coach Dorr has set a very high standard and I'm gonna try to try to match that and I'll possibly do better. But it, we're here because what Coach Dorr has built as a program, and I plan on doing uh, the same things. So what does a Rasco team look like? What's your philosophy? What's the identity of your team? Well, a lot of people would joke around and think we're going to shoot a lot of threes, because that's how I played. But uh, 
Actually, this year, one of our weaknesses were our three-point shooting, so that's something that we'll be addressing this summer with our workouts. But uh, I want to play up-tempo basketball, but our main emphasis has to be on defense and rebounding because those are the two things that win championships. Obviously, defense is important, but in order to, to finish your defense, you've got to get a defensive rebound, and that's, that's my main philosophy in this. I think we have a very athletic team, so we'll be able to play up and down the floor and create turnovers off a of defense, which is going to lead to some easier offensive opportunities. So who would you say are your basketball mentors? Well, obviously, I have to say Coach Dorr. Uh, I've been here since 2001, so I've known him for 14 years. Uh, he's helped me through the good times, through the bad times, and he's had a very huge impact on my life, almost like a second father figure, and I'm thankful to Coach Dorr for all the years in the past. And I'd also like to mention Keith Pruden because nine years ago when I started my CIS assistant coaching career, he was kind enough to accept me on his coaching staff as a young player who just graduated and I was 25 years old. He was kind enough to give me the chance to begin my coaching career and I'm thankful to him for that. Uh, over the last few weeks, um, obviously this has been a bit of a stressful period for you. Have you had any sleep at all? Well, like I told our athletic director this morning, last night I got about a solid two and a half hours of sleep. So uh, it's, it was difficult at certain times, but it is. It comes with the job, and obviously I have a young daughter as well, so some nights she wakes up, some nights I'm just thinking about basketball. So sleep hasn't been easy, but that's, that's the least important thing right now. <laughs> so uh, when do you plan on announcing your staff? Hopefully very soon in the upcoming weeks. We'll be working. I'll be working with the athletic director to, to look at some names. There's a lot of good candidates out there, and we just are going to have to see what works out the best for the schedules for everybody. What does it take, this might be a difficult question, but what does it take to be a successful CIS coach? Well, I think as a coach, you gotta be able to create a trust between you and your players. Uh, if you want these guys to go to war for you every day, they gotta trust you. Uh, I think you gotta build a team culture uh, where everybody knows it's a 12 month program and everybody's committed in the classroom, on the court, and everywhere else where we represent the university. Uh, it's, it's tough to answer right now, but if you do all these things properly and you outwork everybody, good things are going to happen. So with the team that you're inheriting, obviously you know them very well. What are the strengths? Well, as I mentioned a bit earlier, I think we're a very athletic team. We're a very young team. I think we had some ups and downs this year, but we, we competed in almost every game. We're such a young team with a lot of first and second year guys. Obviously next year we have our captain, Michael Fosu, going in his fourth year, and he's going to be our oldest guy a few third-year guys and everybody else is in their first or second year, so I think that's great to be able to build a team and build our team culture, obviously with some of the incoming recruits as well, as I think that's going to be a very good thing. Last question. Yeah. Outside of being assistant at Concordia, how else have you prepared for this opportunity? Well, I've been coaching for 12 years now, coaching in high school. I started in 2003 while I was still playing here at Concordia. I started coaching with one of our alumni, Dan Lacasse, at Ecole Secondaire Saint Laurent. So it's been 12 years that I've been doing this, and I've, I've been a head coach for six years in high school. I've been a head coach of the Sun Youth AAU summer teams. So I've, I was able to obviously learn on the fly, because when you're a young coach, it, you, a lot of times you try to do things similar to everybody else, and then you start learning, well, this might work better if I do it this, this way. So. I've had a lot of bumps through uh, this coaching career, but I think I'm going down the right path, and the success I've had with the women's and men's teams will help me out tremendously. So is it going to be Coach Rasko or Coach Popovich? Well, some of the guys are already joking that it's going to be Coach Pop, but I told them that puts a lot of pressure on me because Coach Pop is uh, Greg Popovich from the Spurs, and he's widely considered to be the best coach in the, in the world right now. So we'll see, we'll see with the names. We'll negotiate with the names. So. Congratulations. Thank you very We're much. We're all proud of you. Appreciate it.